Hello everyone, my name is Andre McClendon. Today I'm going to be talking about how to program the Stochastic Oscillator, Expert Advisor, or Programming Robot. This is going to be for beginners. It's going to be very simple, guys. I'm going to go step by step. Uh, before I start, I'm going to explain the Stochastic uh, Oscillator. First off, we have two different lines right here. These are our barrier lines. Now you guys can adjust it, but, but I have it on default settings. We have the 80 and the 20 line. And basically, once these both lines carry over this line, uh, it shows that it's either oversold and I'm sorry, overbought and oversold. And usually people like to put a sell order in, the, in this location and a buy order in this location. Now, if we look at some of the details when it comes to the indicator, you can see that there's uh, there's a K percent, D percent, and slowing. There's a field of high and low, or you can do close to low, uh, close to close. You can do a simple moving average or exponential. I'm going to be going through a lot of this inside the code, so let's get to the MQL4 code. All you have to do is click this little uh, notepad right here, or hit F4. And once you do that, a box will pop up looking like this. All you need to do is go to the top left-hand corner, click on New. Click on Expert Advisor. Put a name for this Expert Advisor. We can put Astix Buy and sell all right hit next 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 and you get a window up like this and all you gotta do i'll make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see and we're going to be using the on tick function right here make it a little bigger for you guys and to first start off guys the thing we need to create is our stochastic indicators so here is the first part of our code we're going to program together. Now first off, we're going to start with a double. Now to explain a double is basically a number that's not a whole number. Like when you see price at 1.113 or 2.663, this is not a whole number, just gives you a bunch of the digits. And we want that, especially when it comes to indicators. Now we're going to name this the stochastics signal. And we're going to use the I stochastics. Now this is already created by... Uh, MetaTrader 4. All right, if you want to find information about it, just double click it and press F1. A window should pop open giving out more detail to what we're about to explain right now. Our next thing is going to be null. Now, null is going to be the default. It's going to run on all different, uh, basically on all currency pairs available from the broker. If you want to find information, just double click it and press F1. I'm sorry, press uh, F1. Now, our next thing is going to be our time frame. We're going to put it as zero to work on all time frames. Our first input is going to be our K period. And we're going to use it as 10. You guys can adjust to whatever period you want, but for the video purposes, I'm going to use 10. Same thing for the D period. We're going to use it as five. Slowing is going to be five also. And we're going to use mode SMA. Now, if you guys want the list of SMAs or uh, different type of mode you guys can put in there, hit F1 and it'll get you a list of which ones you can put in there. You can put mode SMA, uh, uh, smooth moving average, linear, or you can put zero, one, two, or three instead of putting that in there. Our next thing we're just going to add a zero, and that's going to be our off the, pr uh, the price of it, off the price of the close. We're going to use mode signal. So there's two there's a the mode signal and mode main. And if you guys want more information about that, double click it, hit F1, and you guys will get the information right here. See? For stochastics, coming out right here. I stochastics. Oh, where are you at? Oh, there. For I stochastics, either mode main or mode signal, or you can get a zero or one. Okay. And we're going to run it on the current candle, so we put zero, and we're going to close it out with this marker right here. Our next thing is going to be adding our mode main signal also a double same thing as the castics we're going to put main all the same information except for modes main is going to be in place of mode signal i run it on the current candle okay now we're going to make sure that when we cross this line right here we want it to be above this 80 line at least one candle prior so to create that guys we're going to do this right here we're going to create the exact same code that we did before, but tweak it a little bit. So here it is right here. 
Now we have d the double, like I explained before, but we're going to name it Stochastic Signals 1. And everything's going to be the same except for that 0 at the end, and we're going to place a 1. Now that's what that does is scan the candle 1 back for the signal and for the main 1 back, and we're going to name it Stochastic's Main 1. Okay? Now that we have our our indicator now we're going to have the identifiers and how we're going to get into the trade okay so first we're going to break down the buy and we're going to make this a bull statement okay so now a bull statement is basically going to read true or false if this is true it's going to read as true if it's false it's going to read as false we name it stochastic buy all right let me break this down over here so we can read a little bit easier so we're going to make sure our stochastic signal is less than or equal to than 20. So, and here's our example. We want to buy when it's below this zone, 20. You guys can also change it from whatever number you want, but for the video purposes, we're going to use 20. For stochastic's main, we're also going to use under 20 right here. Stochastic signal, number one, under 20, and also stochastic's main, under 20. So, we're going to have both, we're going to have both indicators for the current candle and the uh, candle previous all under 20. Once that's true, it should indicate our trade to enter. Now we're going to do the sell. All right, so stochastic so sell. Exact same thing as uh, previous uh, stated, but we're going to make it a little bit different when it comes to entering on the 80. Per 80. So... We need the stochastic signal above it and 80. Stochastic's main above 80 or equal to. Stochastic signal if greater than or equal to 80. And same thing for stochastic's main 1. If that's all true, then stochastic cell will equal true. Now let's break down our uh, our first buy statement, guys. All right, so let's break down the first entry when it comes to the buy. So first off, we need to do an if statement. Now, our if statement is going to have our... I, F, and then a brat, our parentheses, and another parentheses at the end. But we need to make sure that we put the stochastics by in there and have, have a double equals true. So what, what this means is that once the bool statement equals true, this will verify saying yes, it equals true. And we're going to do a double and statement to verify this, the total orders equals zero. Now, once this is true, it's going to kick down and check if this is correct. And this is our buy order. We're going to look at it, uh, initiating once we're doing our, once we're, once the uh, strategy tester is running. So first thing we're going to do is an int. This is going to be our whole number. And we're going to call this trade uh, this order buy order. We're going to do an equals, and we're going to do order send. If you wanted more information on order send, double click it and hit F1. And here's a breakdown of what it means. Okay, you guys can uh, freeze the screen or take a picture of it if you can. But I'm going to go through. First thing we can do null. I previously talked about this earlier, and we're gonna do op buy. Now op buy, what that means is that it's gonna be instant execution buy. It's gonna buy basically at the market price, and we're gonna use a uh, our volume of 0 0.01. Now what that means is that our lot size for the, for this currency pair is basically gonna be almost like 10 cents uh, for the lot size. But we're gonna be trading on pound yen, guys. This is my favorite currency pair, so. It's pretty easy to program for the rest of the information. We're going to be entering off the ask price. Our slippage, so when it like enters the trade, doesn't jump off. It's not really uh, behind. It's going to be 1. And we're going to be doing a stop loss of 50 pips. So we're going to be going from the ask price minus 50, cent, uh, 50 pips, which is 0.5 on this pair. And the ask price uh, plus 2.0, which is going to be basically uh, 200 pips. So we're going to risk 50 pips to gain possibly 200 pips. Now our comma is going to equal no, we don't need a comment on there. And for our magic number, you guys can put 0 or put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And since this is not a pending order, uh, you know, sell stop, buy stop, buy limit, we're going to put it as 0. And for the uh, trade, we're going to use the color orange. Now once that's done, we're going to hit this right here, it says print order, buy order created. And once we know that, and we'll see that it basically uh, in the uh, meta, uh, strategy tester that it did enter a trade. Our next thing, guys, is going to see how we're going to enter our sell trade, okay? 
Now here's our cell requirements, okay? Now, we're going to do another if statement with a parentheses. It's going to be stochastics underscore cell equals true. Once this bool statement equals true, then it's going to move on to this right here. Make sure the total orders equals zero. And if you want to know what that is, once again, double click it, press F1, and it's going to break down what that means, okay? Now, our next thing is going to be very similar to our buy order. We're going to use an int. We're going to call this sell order equals order send. We're going to use a null op cell. Zero, 01 for our lot size. We're going to enter off the bid. Our slippage is 1. And for our stop loss, now remember, for when we're shorting something, our stop loss is going to be above it. So we're going to do the bid plus 50 pips or 0.5. And now when we use our target profit, we're going to use the bid minus 2.0, which is 200 pips on pound yen. And we're going to use null for the comment. And for the magic number, 654321, you guys can leave it at zero if you like, but for this is video purposes, you can use uh, uh, 654321. Our pending orders, our time frame, basically, is going to be zero, and we're going to use clear orange. And once that works, guys, it's going to print and say sell order created. Now, so far, the trade looks pretty good. We're going to hit compile and see if there's any errors. We have no errors at all. So now we're going to go back to MetaTrader 4. Now, we're back on MetaTrader 4, guys. We need to uh, run our strategy tester. Okay. All you do is press Control-R or go to View and click Control, uh, press Strategy Tester. All right. We're going to go and find our Stochastics Trader. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Let me move myself. All right, guys. Now, I'm going to break this down Uh we, in this box here, you're going to put the name of the in, of the expert advisor. We're going to call it Stochastics Buy and Sell. We're going to be using it on pound yen. Now, the dates are up to you. You guys can trade whatever dates you want. And for the time frame, for this video purposes, we're going to use 15 minute with a spread of 5. And before we run, we got to make sure that this is click, um, looks like double arrows. So when it runs, it doesn't run immediately. It just kind of pauses. But uh, since we have no errors while running it, we can hit start. And see how it's frozen, guys? How it's not going to move? I'm going to add the indicator on there right behind me. So we have a visualization of what's happening. Okay. Let me move myself down here. See this play and pause button right here, guys? That what this does is basically, basically stop and go. Now, let's see how the expert advisor works and runs our algorithm. See how it entered on that first buy when both conditions, um, when the conditions were uh, true, entered on the buy. And this is running here. So let's make it a little bit bigger. And if you want to change the color, guys, just click F8. And you guys can scroll down to a different color and different candle. And you can zoom out a little bit so you guys can see it better. And now we'll let it run. If you want to slow it down, just move this little drag bar. See? And we can see what's happening. It took profit on that trade. And let's zoom out a little bit more. To see what's happening. And pretty much it'll keep on doing this as long as the strategy tester has time uh, for the dates. And it'll just keep on over entering in overbought areas. Enter and oversell areas. And this is a very basic beginner video for people who are trying to learn how to use expert advisors. Now, I'm not saying that this makes money or not, just proving how to program the stochastic oscillator. Okay, guys? Now, I hope you guys got some value out of that. I hope this helps you out. Um, also, the code will be in a pinned comment, so you guys can just copy and paste it and use it for yourself. But if you have any questions or comment, guys, hit me up on Telegram or if you guys need help with expert advisors or programs yourself, just contact me on Fiverr or we can hit me up on Telegram and we can speak on Fiverr and that's where I do a lot of my gigs there. All right. Besides that, guys, I hope this has some value. Please like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.